Sublime Magnificent. <laughs> Guys, you know who it is, what's going on, when it's happening, where it's at, and why we're here today. How you doing? It is I, the sublimely magnificent Big Ugly himself, Omari Ellis Feo Grande on YouTube, back with another episode of This Guy Hasn't Seen, and as usual, I am joined by my friend and co-host, one of my best friends in the world, El Director himself, Chill Bill Smith. Hey, Omari. <laughs> Thanks for having me back, as always. It's the highlight of my week. Um, I convinced a buddy of mine at work to start a movie club with his daughter, awesome. who is away at college. Um, uh, he is uh, he is making a phone call this evening to uh, to hopefully get that going. And he's he's a really cool dude who's super into movies, and his daughter is super cool and just like him uh so i'm sure she'll accept it and they're going to have a great time with it um uh and i love the fact that he is probably extremely controlling and i love that this scenario would then give her the opportunity once a week to make him watch something <laughs> i don't know if that's something that she's gotten the affordability to do um uh uh just knowing this guy uh from what i know him at work for working with him with a lot for a long time but yeah uh so cool uh that's uh, great just, like yeah i was talking to him about how um uh he he was like have you watched blah 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 yet it was like he'll he, he'll he, i'm get i get movies from him too uh and he like you think i haven't seen shit almost everything that he pulls out of his pocket I'm like, uh, nope. Or if I did, it was in that run of 2005 to 2007 <laughs> where Bill didn't really sleep. Um, he just went to the library and rented like seven movies or whatever the allotment was on DVDs. <laughs> Watched them nonstop and repeat, like like rinse and repeat. Um, oh man, that was as, good tech to just go to the library and get it. Yeah, and you can still visit your local library. They also have a streaming service uh, where where you can stream films, and they have a pretty large gallery. Hmm. Um, so yeah, check out your local public library. That's the secret tech right there. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, he was asking me if I had seen him. Like, have you watched this yet? Uh, uh, and I was like, Nah, man. I got you know. I got. Uh, uh, I've got my my wife who hasn't seen movies that I have to show her, and then I got I got the movie club that I've told you about that. Uh, and and he's like, the movie club. We've talked. Yeah. yeah well, what is it? And I was like, you yeah, know, well, like one week I make my buddy watch uh watch watch a movie and then the next week he makes me watch a movie and uh and then we like chat about it um and really it's just an excuse to like talk to my buddy who's across the country <laughs> um uh but you know it's just it, it's like a it's a it's a nice scheduled way to just have a chat <laughs> and and he's like oh that's i need to do that with my daughter we're gonna I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her about that. Like and she, he, he was so excited about it. It's such a cool thing. Sorry, I took up so oh, much. It's of a this. cool thing. You see, you see the smile on my face. I'm, it's, just, <laughs> it's just heartwarming. That's cool, though. But yes, this is a show. This guy has seen where we generally do, as he said, talk about things that one guy has seen and the other hasn't. This week, Bill is the one bringing the suggestion, and I believe this week we are doing a classic gladiator. Gladiator from 2000, uh, a former Roma, a former Roman general sets out to exact vengeance against the corrupt emperor who murdered his family and sent him into slavery. It is directed by Ridley Scott, and it stars Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, Connie Nielsen, uh, as well as many others. Omari, you yeah. haven't seen Gladiator. No. Hey man, this is an award-winning <laughs> film. This was a this was a this was a this was a great film of our of our of our 
of our time of our era 2000 yeah. what what why no why no gladiator that is, were you not entertained i may not have thought i would be but even then i don't see how i think gladiator was one of those movies that was always on my need to watch this list because i had always heard that I pretty it was probably gonna fit the things I usually like about movies, you know, action, fighting, and stuff like that. And gladiator, glad gladiatorial story. combats. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a vengeance story until like today. Uh, I knew about <laughs> we'll the are you, yeah. I knew about the are you or not are you not entertained line, and I knew that came from it. I didn't really mm -hmm. know the context. I figured he was upset with being a gladiator and mm -hmm. are you not entertained? I got that. I got that vibe from the quote, but it was more just always on my, I need to watch this list and never actually remember it. When I go, I need something to watch. It's kind of like you, Scarface in that regard. Um, before watching it today, before talking, talking about it here today, were you aware? W did you know that it was a popular movie? uh or uh or 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 were you aware that it was like a f the, the this movie has won five oscars including best picture best actor best director the quantity best writing best screenplay the quantity it, it no. basically won the 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 I, I it had the it had, it had the quint quintuple crown <laughs> i knew it was highly regarded i would not have been able to know it had the five oscar wins or anything mm -hmm. like that i knew that it was very well received and again it was on the i should watch this i really want to watch this and then when it comes to what should i watch today it's nowhere on my mind and then someone would bring it up years later oh i need to get around to watching that and then always forget about it and yeah, that was pretty much it. Like I said, it's kind of like Scarface in that regard, where it's like, oh, that sounds like a really cool movie that I'd be into. <laughs> I don't think watch Scarface it. won any Oscars. No, but as far as as to why <laughs> I hadn't seen it, it's just, yeah. I'm sure I would love it, but I haven't seen it. It just never lined up. Yeah, I was just curious if you, like, because you, you I said, think I, realized it was I mean, it, an Oscar winner of technically, that degree. Technically, IMDb has it classified as an action, a, a adventure, drama, um, which which is accurate. I was just curious if you if you were just if you were in the headspace of action movie. The or like how the only thing I can say about initial back in the day that might have turned me off and i'm still i'm not saying it did because i still feel like i always looked at it at it in a positive want to watch light yeah. but maybe the high renown of oscars and the drama probably turned me off because you know i said I, I think i mentioned in an earlier episode that usually was like my um, it's gonna be boring. <laughs> Drama winning yeah. mo or Oscar winning movie meant boring to me for a while. I'm like, what the fuck? The pianist. Oh, watch this <laughs> the shit. The pianist. <laughs> I think I think that was around the time where some movie I wanted to win that year. <laughs> it may not have been the pianist, but the, something that I wanted to win lost to something of that degree. And I was just like, oh, well, clearly they don't care about movies I like. They just, <laughs> they just want to go just with just immediately this other. turned off. Yeah, like I can respect the fact that the other has the art. Like, but was I never it uh, myself an artist. Saving, saving Private Ryan? I don't uh, know, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm thinking of the, of like the big, because like, uh, uh, the pianist didn't uh, win a movie Sha thing, but Shakespeare in love won a movie. Won, uh, uh, Oscar the for year it. that everybody thought that Saving Private Ryan was gonna win. Ah, well, um, and like, uh, that, that was that was one of the biggest ones when we were growing up. Hmm. And then you got the one where, where, where Crash, no, see, I didn't watch Saving Private Ryan because it looked like it would be a boring Oscar <laughs> movie. It's a war film. It's not very boring. 
<laughs> it's Oscar nominations beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> Oscars boring. <laughs> Done. All right, so you no, watched this movie day. without knowing about the Oscars. So <laughs> so you didn't think it was so, so it has the chance at least of of not being thought of as boring. It's, well, I'm an adult still, now. It could still be called boring. I'm an adult now. This is more back in the day that that was my thought process. No. But, I, um yeah so watching it and getting like right into the movie i kind of liked the little song in the opening it was calmish kind of tone setting and we get the opening battle and shit and that's going on and that's cool and brutal but all the lead up to it clearly everybody likes this dude russell crowe maximus everybody likes him and i'm like so he's clearly got high standing right now and he ends up in a gladiator arena. And again, for the folks at home that don't know, I don't really read the synopsises or the taglines about the movies before watching them because I like trying to figure it out and guess it. So I'm just looking at it and I'm like, something's got to cause a fall from grace for this dude. I also saw the dog, thought it was cute, and I'm like, oh no, the dog's going to die, ain't it? It's, 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 what, they just showed this cute dog. I don't think it does, though. I mean, it, we don't know, but I think, cool. I think... I think uh, uh, what, once uh, once Maximus gets pulled away from camp by the betrayers uh, and and his good buddy, uh, and, like is get he gets arrested. Uh, if we can jump to that. I mean, it's not too far away. Yeah, and we'll, we'll we'll go into the m- yeah meat and bones of it. Um, but yeah, I would assume. From that point forward, he's just separated from that dog, and we don't know. Well, either yeah. the dog just lives with the army now, or the dog doing? they did something horrific to the dog. Yeah, but that we don't it, know. It, it it's it's Schrodinger's on, dog. It didn't <laughs> die on screen, and right. that made me happy because I yes. totally thought it was gonna die on screen. Cause... Yeah, I, I I turned to Jen and I was like, "This is a little irresponsible, just uh, uh, just having this dog in the middle of the battle, right?" Like I don't care how cool your dog is, like to it to just have him running wild in the middle of the war. <laughs> the the like yeah. keep him in camp in this moment. I agree, I but yeah. So they go through the first battle. It's cool. It's brutal. It's like holy shit. There's there's war going on, and there's an old man watching. And the old man at the end of the battle sees you know actually, and he lets out. I guess it was a sigh looking at it now, but at first he looked pissed to me. And I'm like, what's this old man pissed about? They won! And it cuts to fucking Commodus and Priscilla and Lucilla in their thing talking about somebody dying and who's gonna usurp a throne and shit. And so me, I'm like, oh, I get it. Somebody's dying, likely the ruler of the country. So this old man wants to replace him and he was hoping that Russell Crowe died. So he's gonna frame him for the death of somebody, probably this prince motherfucker that's coming up. The, I'm thinking the old man's gonna frame Russell Crowe for the death of the prince. <laughs> and then they, they say they address him as emperor I'm like oh he's the emperor maybe I misread that early scene so this prince dude is gonna frame crow <laughs> and then Lucilla has a conversation with them and myself I jumped to the thing like oh she evil too when she first talked to him because I mean seen- they have weird vibes immediately yeah. immediately in the carriage they have weird vibes Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, so she evil too. But like when she first talks to Maximus, just like, what were you talking to dad about? I'm like, oh, what are you scheming? You've always <laughs> been a terrible liar. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's it's around this point, like like uh so so Caesar has told Maximus that he wants Maximus to take the powers of Caesar and go back to Rome and give it to the people give it back to the people uh um uh cl- and clean up rome yeah uh, he's never been there he is he's he's from spain uh but he is a he is assigned to go so he actually is a spaniard 
I mean, he okay. is. Well, like, I mean, like we don't from know. Spain. Uh, okay. If I'm honest, we don't know. It's okay. around. So it's around this point, around the conversation with the sister, where my wife turns and it turns to me and goes, "Like, uh, I'm confused about the relationships uh, uh, here, and like, I, I don't know how Maximus is." so trusted by the is, emperor is at the status that he's at where is what what uh like he like the 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 the, the caesar's two children act like they've known maximus for so long um uh but yet maximus has never been to rome caesar says i, I don't know it's it's uh, uh i can understand it being confusing but the point of that is None of it matters. <laughs> I uh, literally, like, literally, none of it is going to matter in about ten minutes. Yeah. Um. So I, I, I think they're like, why? We're not going to waste time on it. Like, you, you're allowed to fill in the blanks. Like, I, I theor- like Jen and I were theorizing at one point late in the, uh, in the evening after watching this one. Uh, like, so he could be. Like uh, it, uh, he could be from a line of like governorships of uh, of this area in Spain that is now in the Roman Empire, and it's and it's like a as we saw from cutaways, it's a it's a very lovely place, and maybe like maybe the Caesar and his family like summered there every once in a while, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You could maybe theorize and like. He's just like the baddest. He, it 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 got known pretty soon that he's just like the baddest dude there is with a sword. So Caesar was like, "Hey, uh, service to the empire, my man." <laughs> uh, like you know, you can fill in the blanks, but like like we all know when you watch the movie here in about ten minutes, it's going to not matter in a really fucking brutal way. Yeah, fucking. Commodus took me a while to catch what his name was, but yeah, Commodus, he fucking murders his dad because he 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 wanted to be the emperor, and he also had the Buck, daddy issues. Fuck Caesar, fuck Caesar. You know, my realization in this viewing is that Caesar is a fucking asshole. He he, he says the lines directly to Maximus. He's been a fucking dick his entire life, and now he's about to die, and he's like, oh shit, let me do something good. Hey, poor person. Not really a poor person. We saw the giant acreage and home that he had. <laughs> uh uh, but he but he's like, hey, common folk, you take the you you're gonna have the crown now. Knowing full well that that is not going to go well for him, knowing full well that it's likely a death sentence, if not a impossible task that he is that he, that Commodus he is will agree. What? <laughs> Why? Why would he agree? <laughs> And, and and then he can and that way he can go to like he lays down that night like ah yes die a happy man because I I I made everything okay by giving <laughs> and then and then he does the stupid thing of fucking telling his son who he knows is a crazy bitch in private before he tells anybody else <laughs> I'm going to do this. No, you're, man. You're dissatisfied. No. Yes, he's dissatisfied. And, and like Commodus goes, he's like, "You listed a lot of virtues a long time ago. What should be a ruler?" And I noticed not a single one of those motherfucking virtues applied to me. He's like, "I have virtues. You don't think any of them are fit to rule? And all I've done is tried to look up to you and model myself after you. Now, am I justifying his killing of the dude? No, but I do agree with you. Fuck that dude for doing what he did. But also fuck Commodus for doing what he does. Oh, yeah, obviously. Uh, fuck. But like, but like, uh, <laughs> don't be a, don't be mad at a dog for barking. Yeah. Like you, you I like, agree. you stood on the train tracks and waved at a train. Like I agree with that as well. No, that was he, very he's, dumb. he's he's so it's it's that and like uh, you know it's Richard Harris, uh, Dumbledore, huh. uh, um, the uh, OG Dumbledore, um, 
but uh he does a great job but yeah his character in this in this viewing i made the realization of like oh then fuck this guy <laughs> you are just you 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 are just taking a dude you love and ruining his life like if you genuinely loved maximus he wants to go home yeah, he and, literally and, says he wants to go home. You sure you don't want to be the ruler of him, of Rome instead? Where do you live, by the way? Uh huh. Like when he started asking him where he lived, I started suspecting the king was gonna kill all those people too. I'm just suspecting everybody at the beginning. I'm like, that's a random thing. He's like, let us whisper now. Yeah. You have a wife, a kid. How many kids? Oh, two kids. Where do you live? Describe it to me. Oh yeah, how's the weather? <laughs> it's like <laughs> damn okay you're getting very specific about this then he's like rule the country I know jack shit about ruling whatever give it to the people afterwards my son sucks <laughs> that's fucked up oh one thing I wanted to mention, mention from the first battle was the fucking headless horseman the dude that comes out when they get ready to start, he's like, looks like they don't agree. And it was just a guy riding the horse with no fucking head. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Jesus. So that's what kind of movie this is going to be. I'm here for it. But, yeah, the fucking Commodus kills the dad. Doesn't frame Maximus for it. Which surprised me. I thought he was going to frame Maximus. No, he just says, kill the dude. And... <laughs> But Maximus escapes because he's Maximus and becomes a slave after finding his wife and son murdered and pretty much passing out in his grief. Um, but yeah. So, but Maximus is his best friend. Oh, yeah. The second he's like, hey, do this. Nah. Another realization I made in this viewing is like, he doesn't get enough. He, he doesn't get attacked enough. Like he needs, he needs more on him. It was Quintus, him. right? He straight up betrayed Maximus. I don't. I it, he does. His name doesn't deserve to be said. He's the betrayer. His name is the betrayer. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but uh, I'm just saying that because I don't know his name. I also uh, am not sure if Quintus and that betrayer. Quintus, are the that same looks person. right. That, okay. that looks right. That that looks pretty right. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, I was pissed with that. I was like, damn, you just gonna fold over like that when you in on this shit? He just instantly... He's like, no, the king's been murdered. What are you talking about? I know he's been murdered and it's clip. What the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. Uh, yeah. Dude becomes uh, the gladiator and everything. Um... Fucking well, for, yeah! First he runs, he, he rides straight home. Oh, I'm sorry, I mentioned yeah. He found his wife and son. Yeah, yeah. Fucking murdered. Brutal. It's, Brutal. Yeah, he has nothing left. They, 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 they took everything away from him. Yeah, and he, and in his grief, uh, uh, he passes out after like burying them, and some people just like kidnap him or you know pretty much con detain him whilst he was unconscious and then he wakes up and now he's got a fight in gladiatorial combat first in the underground how about uh uh jabu uh, ja, uh jamin jamin hansu uh being a improvised doctor during that travel montage <laughs> that was some pretty gross shit <laughs> uh First it's the maggots. No, they will clean it. Just watch. <laughs> like he kept telling him to watch and like look at it, look at it. I'm mm -hmm. doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the second, the second time, yeah, just like smearing and like really smearing it, like getting his thumb in there and like really getting that chewed paste and like, deep into that wound. <laughs> and like extra gross. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he, he becomes a gladiator. Yeah. Not not really not really in, like you know, he is in he's in like I'm dead already. Like I'm dead mode. I'm just waiting for the first dude who's going to swing a sword that's real at my neck. Um 
uh, until the moment they're about ready to go for their first fight. And all it takes is one speech from uh, Proximo. What, what's his, what, what was his character's name? Proximo? The Proximo. promoter? Are you talking about the promoter? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oliver Reed is the actor. Proximo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it it takes one speech from him, and he like, it's like, huh? All right. Does his like the minute you he does his dirt thing, you know, <laughs> it's on. Yeah, he, that is something. It's on. That is a cool character, like piece of character work they had for him. Where, uh huh. Whenever he's getting ready, put the dirt like, in the hands. Yeah, he gets he gets a little piece of whatever land he's about to fight on, and just like, uh, and then does a little little toss, and yeah, that's it. Not a recurring character quirk thing, but it happened the one time that I liked was uh when Commodus is first meeting the Senate after being crowned emperor. They're trying to explain shit, and he's just like spinning a sword in place. Uh -huh. like in a bored fashion I'm like I like that because it shows just how little he really cares about anything this motherfucker's saying whatsoever yeah. and so I was like that's a good Dude is completely character choice insane. he like he literally he's like just get rid of everything get rid of everything and it's just gonna be me and my sister like and you're gonna do what <laughs> like how how are you just gonna do this <laughs> Why don't they love me? <laughs> it's really good. like uh, all of his like entrances into crowds are like they they make sure to like either it's him pointing it out in the front in the beginning of like of like I'm sure they weren't too expensive, yeah. Uh, 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 or uh, anytime he's walking into the. Uh, the public section of his box yeah. in the Coliseum, they are simultaneously throwing loaves of bread into the crowd. <laughs> and so they're like, it's already like, ah, 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 bread. And then that's when they have him walk like every time. I, I just think that's, yeah, that's a, that's an interesting little, little <laughs> moment. I it's never like, always getting covered. being a man of the people. But I, I definitely am a man for the people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the fucking him just, which I didn't take. It took me. He, it's another one of those things where I should have realized it sooner, but I didn't. I just kept with going. This motherfucker looks familiar, and he always plays fucking creeps or some shit like that. He looks like he does a good job of doing it. And then I saw the end of credits and saw it was Joaquin Phoenix. I'm like, of course it was Joaquin Phoenix. He's the Joker. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah this Gr is kind of the this is the film that that kind of that made Joaquin. I I could see that. He it he does a phenomenal job in it. But yeah, just fucking Commodus is such a fucking creep and a loser and an asshole. He was nominated for a, uh, and a I bitch. wanted to double check, but he was, uh, Joaquin was nominated for best actor in a supporting role. <laughs> That's right. That was the note I put in that they randomly in the movie. Commodus is a bitch and a creep. <laughs> he is. I mean, he is fucking like, I would be interested to find out who actually won in the supporting role that the supporting role category that year, because he does such a good job making you hate him <laughs> uh, being a terrible character and fight and his things that he does and the character that he created, uh, 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 with, uh, um, it's, it's, it is yeah it you is incredibly off-putting right like, yeah it's just like it's just very <laughs> slightly effeminate and 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 it is it is uh like kind of methy a little bit and like uh yeah it's the it's 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 weird 
It's weird. It's off putting. The, the, the whininess of, that, uh, of the way he talks half the time, and it's just like, but shut in like up. in like a Get good off way. My screen in a good <laughs> like it's a great, phenomenal acting job by Joaquin Phoenix. Right. And I understand why he got the Oscar nomination. And like you just said, I'm surprised he lost. Hearing that he did get the nomination, um, but again, who knows who he lost to? But right. He did a phenomenal job, but yeah, Commodus was a little fucking bitch and a creep, because I'm pretty sure he he wanted the incest shit going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which luckily, Lucilla was not the... Not Cecily. What the fuck? Cersei. Lucilla wasn't the Cersei that I thought she was. Uh, right. So, yeah. Anyway... The yeah, so they're doing all the shit in the gladiator arena. They had their first thing where he fucking pff, rallies the men instantly, because <laughs> which also caught me off guard at first because I thought he was like not talking to anybody, keeping his identity a secret, and then he like goes, "How many of you have been in the army?" So uh, and one guy's like, "I served with you on the so and so so and so line." I'm like. What were you just keeping that a secret too? You just now <laughs> just now saying like, oh, I know who you are, motherfucker. <laughs> He's just like, I serve with you at Carthage. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> shit, let's go. And it was a cool little rally to troops scene. I thought the big dude had died or was about to die early on when he got stabbed in the leg. I thought, yeah, I thought the, the big crowd. dude was gonna die like so many times before he died. <laughs> I'm like, no, not the big dude. The big dude's dead. Yeah, he's cool. He's still not necessarily confirmed dead, but it looked like he had oh, several nigga, arrows in his oh, chest. He, <laughs> when he dies, he when he dies, he dies. <laughs> um, but it's yeah. just a quick cutaway. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to put money on it yet. Gotcha. <laughs> I like the, I like the little speech Proximo had to him about what it means to win the crowd over because we had the famous are you uh -huh. not entertained moment where he goes out there and he just bodies his opponent like it's <laughs> nothing <laughs> do, 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 do. are you not entertained <laughs> and, like, and then they're like yeah we are <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was about to say I sure as hell would be he just straight up one the shot at everybody I love that shit and he's like are you not entertained <laughs> and Brox was like, you can't just kill them so fast. You gotta work the crowd and stuff. I don't really care to do that. No, you got to. If we're going to Rome, I'll win the crowds. <laughs> I'll, show, to... I'll, show, I'll show them something they haven't seen. Spaniard, Spaniard, Spaniard. And, just the... and he brings, he like brings the battlefield to the Colosseum. And and does and does show them something they haven't seen. Yeah, he's pretty cool. And eventually, you know, they do get to be in the Colosseum because Commodus is like, the people will love me if I give them their blood sport back. Mm, yes, and so they fucking get to the Colosseum. They are chosen for a fucking sacrificial battle. Like, ah, oh, we'll just sacrifice them to the fucking whatever. We're they're just here to die. We're gonna recreate a battle where we slaughtered the enemy mercilessly. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're they're just like yeah. and and he pleads with them. He's like, You these are gonna you're you're about ready to kill the best gladiators you have. Yeah. But these are the best gladiators possible, and you're just one shot just murdering them all? Yes. Okay. But to everyone's surprise, they don't get brutus brutally slaughtered. Instead, they win. And he's riding on a horse. He put on a helmet, trying to protect his identity and shit. Uh, he had befriended the little kid before, uh, Lucius. Because he's like, I hear you're called the Spaniard. I think you're cool. I'm a roof for you. Yep. <laughs> and so the king's like who's the Spaniard we don't know hmm, I want to meet him <laughs> like what, what is that gonna do then he gets down there and he's like don't you want to meet me and he, break, and he was gonna try to kill him but he brought the kid so he's like I can't just freak around with the kid there 
So I'll turn around. Hey, he gets ready to turn around and leave. Hey, he was about ready to just end this movie. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna throw the fucking spear after he fucking won too, up to where the guy is. And I was gonna and I was expecting the spear to be chucked because you see people calling out emperors in those kind of gladiatorial things. You see that as a trope. The yeah. throw the spear, land right next to the king as a direct challenge. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, this is where that came from. No, it's yeah. not. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, he, he, he tries to avoid the whole confrontation thing. He's like, gonna take off your helmet? No, actually, I'm going back downstairs. Mm -hmm. Talk to me when you want to fight again. I demand you take the helmet off. Okay. I'm motherfucking Maximus, <laughs> you murdering piece of shit. <laughs> and again, the crowd is like, <gasps> <"Yeah!"> <laughs> Maximus, Maximus, Maximus. It backfired entirely. It's like, he tried to save you from that. <laughs> he could have just been some nameless Spaniard, but no, you went ahead and went, nah, I'm Maximus. Yeah, and the, and it's in, like, you'd expect, I don't know what you were anticipating, but like, I feel like in the, in your average movie that this, if this was your average movie, uh, then like, he's wearing that mask for the next 90% of the movie. Oh, yeah. And then, like... Waiting for a big It was reveal. me the whole time! <laughs> and then stabbing the gut thing. Mm -hmm. uh, or whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, the fact that... I feel like feel like when... the Every time, even though I've seen this a bunch of times, I'm just like, whoa, we're doing this this early? All right. Because, uh, like, now it's just like anything could happen at any moment. Everybody knows that. Like everybody knows everybody's alive again, and everybody wants to kill everybody. Mm. And now, and, and like, and with every scene now, like the uh, 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 Joaquin is like, is like, oh, now my sister wants to kill me. It okay. vexes me. All right, I'm vexed. Now maybe I want to kill her son. <laughs> I'm did thinking about that. About maybe the, did I tell you the tale of the traitorous bitch? <laughs> 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 well, you see, there was a bitch, and she was a traitor, and she's my sister. Fuck you. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like, that's pretty much what that was. <laughs> Which, another one of those... Yeah. Um, but yeah, he reveals who he is, and now the movie becomes about him. Like, And he can't agree to just straight-up murder him in public, because clearly the people love this dude. And he wants them to love him, not not <laughs> Maximus. You know, he wants to, he wants to be loved. It vexes him. He's so vexed. It vexes him. <laughs> he's so vexed. This vexes yeah. me. But he's he's trapped. <laughs> like I mean, he's not in reality. He's not really trapped. Like he's just like you just kill Maximus in the prison at the middle of the night, and just stop booking his gladiator team. And keep your 129 days of, <laughs> of games going. And they're just going to not notice that the Spaniard went away eventually. <laughs> but this is also why he's stupid. <laughs> right. And wasn't necessarily fit to rule. Because even if he wanted to be a corrupt king, he would do that wrong. And <laughs> clearly that's what happens. And, and it's just going on through the movies. There's random shit that's going on. Uh... I, I thought it was crazy one thing when they were playing something back they, backstage. I don't know why I started doing the hand stabby. No, it was a snake. Some fucking snake game where they were trying to piss off a snake. And I'm like, what the fuck is this snake game? <laughs> They're just like, ooh. <laughs> like a fucking cobra and shit. It's like, are you trying to get bit by the snake? Are you trying to see? Is this like snake Russian roulette? What is going on here? Um... But yeah, he also, over the course of the movie, <laughs> conspires with Lucilla, who I eventually come to terms realizing, no, she is not evil. It takes me a while to be like, okay, you're not playing some long con. No, but... yeah, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, yeah, uh, Maximus tells us pretty, tells us right away at the very beginning of the movie, like, 
uh like it's some sort of prompt from her that's like what do you think of me and he's like i think you have an incredible ability for survival (laughs) yeah and that's and that's what and that's what you can say anything morally gray going on with her the character is her thinking she's choosing the best route of survival for her and her son yeah and i can agree i don't know why that. she just doesn't stab the motherfucker that's what i'm saying I poison can... him like he we see her put something in his drink um i don't know why she's not poisoning him more aggressively if she is like we had like jen and i were theorizing of what that was like is that like is she is it literally just like a go to sleep toxin for the night mm. uh 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 to to just get him to go to bed is it is she like is she the reason why he acts so methy uh is she doing that intentionally so that she can yeah. usurp him and get like is it a is it a cersei esque maneuver where like she just she she's just trying to get her son which to could be, be the case to, to, to be caesar and that's fine as well but she Definitely is not on the side of Commodus. You know, the enemy of my enemy and all that. Um, but yeah, over the course of the movie, that's going on. They had the second round where he's like, let's try and make this one-sided against them. So they're like, it's Maximus versus a bunch of dudes and some tigers. And tigers, yeah. <laughs> I was like, tigers! And then I realized immediately, oh no, poor tigers. This isn't going to end well for the tigers. <laughs> Full you're, disclosure, you're ring with I him. love tigers. Oh, um, but yeah. So it was cool having a scene with a shit ton of tigers in it. Um, But then it ends, and then Commodus comes down with his fucking provocation attempts. Because I guess he's like, I'm going to make him attack me, and then he'll be the person and stuff. And so he tries to talk about and describe the death of the wife and kid in his own little detail and yep. it doesn't work like clearly he pisses him off but it, it's not the provocation he wanted it to be he wanted him to swing on him then and there but he's just like i'll remember that i'll get you wait what no no you're supposed to attack me so i can say his defense <laughs> you jackass stop vexing me so uh <laughs> But no, the fucking... Yeah, movie goes on. There's more conspiring against one another. They eventually come up with a plan to sneak Maximus out because Maximus gets to the point where he's like, all right, fuck this shit. Fuck the long con. Get my army ready. I'm getting out of here tonight. Everything's cool. And of course, like they often do in the movie, the little kid inadvertently fucks it up by being a little kid. Because <laughs> it's just like, I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome. You're literally saying that to the emperor. If you tell the emperor somebody's the savior of Rome, he's going to think that you're trying to say he's saving it from him. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And he's like, and where did you hear that? Which I also had to give points against the mom because she's telling the kid it's okay maximus is gonna be the savior of rome because <laughs> apparently that's where he heard it from and then he turns around and is like let me tell you the well, tale. It, yeah and there's also like we talked about there's history between her and maximus we know and she's pretty much in love with him yeah and claims to always have been in love with him uh so yeah that's uh yeah we she was she was probably feeding her son some stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah, and he he adores Maximus. <laughs> so it's hard not to be like we we were wrestling fans as a kid. Yeah, and the motherfuckers that were always winning and doing shit like your Stone Colds and Rocks, we were all about that shit. Mm. Uh, so yeah, but imagine what, it be real like, life and. The, the wrestling is real life skills, not scripted. Just I'm a murderize you. Yeah, 
And then he yeah, turns out he's, to be he's merciful. Got his stone cold energy. <laughs> and then he turns bit, out yeah. to be the merciful on top uh-huh. of it. It doesn't matter if the emperor says kill him and the whole <laughs> the merciful. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious to me. They went from kill, 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 boo, and then one guy is just like, "That's Maximus the Merciful." Yeah! Maximus the Merciful. Maximus the Merciful. <laughs> Why like, he could do no wrong. And when you're at that point where you're facing heel turns, it doesn't matter. The crowd's going to cheer regardless. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So I could see the little kid also just being wrapped up in that. Just like, because it's a real life superhero as far as he's concerned. And if his mom yep. knows he's going to save this country, don't worry. He's going to be like, I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome. Like I said, he ruins shit by being a little kid. I still hate a lot of little kid characters for that reason. They can't help it. They're kids. They're supposed to ruin <laughs> shit. And I get it. But you could also just not put them in the movie. They don't ruin shit. <laughs> but no, you know, kids are kids. It's what it is. Bottom yeah. line is you get the big reveal. Um... And it ruins the plans. They stormed the fucking prison. Yeah. Uh, for, for, uh, for, for a minute, you kind of think it's Proximo that's going to betray him. Oh, yeah. You, he's you like, feel like they're building for Proximo to be the one that's going to betray the plan. Uh, but you feel like the plan is going to not go to plan. <laughs> I think the second... Like, the there's dude... not that much... There's not enough time left in the movie for him to escape Rome, ride back to his army... Tell them what's all fucking happening. Like that's like and, four more scenes, and come back to, on the ba- on the Bahu Bali style. I've got an army with me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this movie isn't going to be a conquering of Rome final set piece. That's not what we feel like it's going to be, kind of thing. I also like uh, that I can reference Bahu Bali like casually. Not, thanks to this show just like oh yeah it's like that thing in Bahu Bali like <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah fucking yeah so that's, it goes wrong and I'm like well looks like everybody's dying in the prison but he's still making it out wait dude's just sitting there if they know about the plan wouldn't they go after dude and almost instantly dude gets hanged and then shot with arrows and i'm like holy shit yeah now what i will give him because commodus decides i'm gonna beat you but we're gonna have a gladiatorial combat thing for me to do it he's like well why the fuck would you like you mentioned he just wants them to love him yeah and then even and even maximus is like why the fuck would you do that it's like what you think i'm a bitch yes <laughs> You've been a bitch your whole life. I'll show you, motherfucker, who's a bitch. Hug me. What stab? I don't like. <laughs> oh, I yeah, like. It's like, like a, it's like a bad kidney stab or something. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. he's and he's like covered the wound with his armor. And I'm like, dick move, yes, bitch move, even. However, it's a smart move for someone like Commodus to make. Because there ain't no way he's beating Maximus legit. (laughs) So it was a smart move for him to do, and I kind of would have been more upset if he hadn't. If he actually was that fucking cocky to think he could take Maximus on head to head. I've never been in a real fight other than sparring competitions, but... I can I can beat the greatest Roman soldier of all time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they get up there, final battle, blizzi- uh, you know, vision uh, blizzions blurry, visions blurry for Maximus. He can barely move or anything, and still dominates. Still dominates, and you can kind of see. Even and they try to have a mini redemption moment for Quintus, but I'm kind of with you because of the first moment. This is not enough. But uh-huh. he's like, Quintus, give me a sword because my sword's been knocked away. Give me a sword, damn it! No one give him a sword. Yeah, man, you wait till now. <laughs> you watch you him wait stab till the now. man downstairs. This whole damn movie. This dude has been a full-on bitch. (laughs) 
And you would have been in the exact same position if you would have just let your best buddy do it. Do you not think that he would have brought you along for the ride? <laughs> you fucking D bag. You wait till now to be like, nope. We can't. We can't. We can't. We. I'm. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna play by the rules. <laughs> hey, fuck you, the betrayer. Fucking sit there and wait till then. They try to give up that redemption moment. That's why I was like, is that the same dude? Nah, it is. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you, him. man. Fuck him. Yeah. I'm, I'm Maximus, entirely with it. If Maximus wasn't dying, you would be next. <laughs> you would be next. His family is dead. In a brutal fashion. The most, like, you can't go more hardcore. They fucking, yeah. Anything else is just icing on an ice cake. I agree. Like, it is, it is the most hardcore you could go. Mm -hmm. Man was brutalized, and it is so much your fault. <laughs> you put, you covered the like cake in is... icing, and then put it in fondant or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fully decorated. It looks like fucking Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> it is a dud cake. <laughs> Indeed, and and, and oh, he's damn. responsible. Like Commodus is the is the actor that causes the events. Yeah. But the person responsible for Maximus being trapped and arrested and not being able to ride immediately to his home. Yeah, is the betrayer. It is, is the betrayer. You can go fuck yourself. Agreed. Anyway, Maximus bodies Commodus, stabs him with his own weapon, because he, he does all this bitching about getting a sword, only to be like, fine, I'll use my hidden dagger in my arm plate. Like, <laughs> if you had that anyway, just fucking use it. <laughs> uh, but he ends up getting stabbed with his own weapon, and in an appropriately unceremonious way, dies. Yeah, it's very interesting that they go for, like, everything cuts out. There's almost no sound except for Russell Crowe and Joaquin's, like, struggle breaths and noises and the, and the like. Yeah, the moment of and, contact. Uh, yeah, and, and it's interesting that that's the route that it goes. But it's, yeah, it's very quiet and intimate and and slow <laughs> and then he dead. just he just drops to the ground and is never paid attention to for the rest of the film they just immediately just go his to body Russell just Crow sits over like, in a corner <laughs> yeah, Russell Crowe's like return to return the empire to the senate do this that that and that and I'm dying he is too. actively dying he is actively dying and he killed the Caesar and then and then relinquishes power back to the Senate. And 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 like fulfills Marcus Aurelius's destiny uh or, or wishes yeah. um uh while actively dying. <laughs> and not like, oh, I'm dying. Like I can see the light. I'm walking into heaven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally. The, the door to heaven's right there. I just need to open the door. And uh, I just keep looking back to be like, and one more thing. Oh, let me stab him. Okay. Uh <laughs> but he dies. They end up following it. And then they go ahead, give him a carry out like funeral procession. And yeah, no one gives a shit about and, and again. Just... Lucius, the little boy, is like the first one at at his body side. Is one of the first people to get there when they're when when whoever announces like and who will help me carry him. Uh, uh. So yeah, the, he 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 fell in love pretty quick. Um. Uh, at this by this point, uh, Maximus and uh, uh Lucille kiss I, I that's i don't know if that scene's needed i'm kind of interested why they thought it was needed i feel like it a little bit detracts from the maximus character if i'm being brutal on this film 
it, it, it and I can see where you're coming from, but I think they wanted to try and hype up the idea or kind of feed you more the idea that once this movie is all over, it's, you can still have a future in a that, life. Yeah, this is the new wife and son to kind of take place. Another yeah. one. I mean, the son's the exact same age as his other son. And yeah, maybe it's because I already know the ending. Uh, but yeah, I I feel like I want Maximus to be a like a sexless Espe- entity at this point. Especially if he's just gonna like, die at the end anyway. I I fully agree with you because yeah. With the benefit of hindsight, it's definitely. But when it was happening, I'm like, okay, this makes sense because they're gonna go ahead and move on later. This is they're setting up their life after the movie. He's just gonna be with her since he has nothing else to go back to. Yeah, I guess that can be that. That might be intentionally in there to make people think that. Try to help you uh, ignore the death flags that pop up later. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah give you that much that little bit of copium for the movie or, or hopium <laughs> for the movie but yeah the movie happens uh anything else you want to talk about from the movie Other um i mean we 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 hit i think we hit a good a good chunk of it okay well, there, there's you know like i i mentioned it earlier and just want to just want to go through them here real quick. Uh, this is the Academy Awards 2001. Won Best Picture. Won uh, Russell Crowe. Won Best Actor for Maximus. Um, it won Best Costume Design. Best Sound. Uh, best Visual Effects. Uh, it had a lot of pioneering visual effects with the tigers in the tiger scene. And also, uh, I I believe I did not, you know, I, I'm 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 sad to say I did not do my honest research on this factoid before thinking to mention it here. Uh, okay, Oliver Reed died three weeks before principal photography ended because Proxima was considered a key character. Clause in the movie's insurance contract would have allowed the filmmakers uh, to shoot all of Reed scenes with another actor, um, but uh, they didn't end up doing that. So they inserted a body double, and a number of the scenes you see with Proximo are CGI generated. Really? Yes. There are a few moments that are you. There's CGI. There are body doubles. There's um, using alternate scenes that they didn't end up using in the film, like using some cutaways and some dialogue from those scenes and pulling them and modifying them a little bit to make them work uh, for uh, intentionally changing what they shot. Uh, hmm. Um, that's interesting I, I I noticed a couple of the green screen moments whenever he was laying down and moving you could tell it was like a green screen moving under him to imply that he was moving like for the ground like when he was in the cart and then when they were carrying like I think his body like at the end or when he first died at the end they were like moving in. yeah I think that's just a I think that was a very specific choice from Ridley Scott I don't even know if it's necessarily green screen or if it's uh, him doing a very weird camera uh, angle uh, uh, focus uh, type uh, deal. Ca- ca- camera technique to make it look offset so much like that. Um, but yeah, I think I think that is a I don't know what he's saying in that, but it is a it is an intentional stylistic choice from him. I also agree at that. It's one of those things where it's it's representing a million things in his head, but like just ends up being a of uh in uh, a, an interesting shot mm-hmm. um so were the tigers cgi too uh i mean tigers were real in most cases but like uh the interaction between the two there was a lot of cutting edge like uh cgi stuff it's always funny there. when people like to ex- use tigers to show their cutting edge like graphical abilities 
like <laughs> Life of Pi or whatever. They uh, were like, look how fucking awesome this tiger is. <laughs> These motherfuckers know special effects. Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so I guess my final thoughts on the movie is that it was awesome. I really enjoyed a lot of the acting done in this movie, if not all. Um, yeah, a lot of people brought their best work to the table. Fucking Joaquin Phoenix. Exactly what I thought. Or exactly what that character needed to be, Joaquin Phoenix was. Yeah. Uh, Russell Crowe, I'll give it to him as well. He did a lot better. Like, he did a very good job in the movie and stuff. I liked him as well. As well as, you know, shout outs to the lead actress. Uh, Lucilla. I had her name earlier and I lost it. Um, the, Who lead, the lead actress. Oh, um, sorry. I was, I was checking the trivia. Uh, Connie Nielsen. Yeah. Shout outs to her as well. Yep. She did a good job. Mm-hmm. I like the character Jabu. Kind of yep. wish she got to do a little more. Kind of wish she got a little more shine, just because he was a funny character, and he. I did like the little touch at the end where he gave, where he reiterated the line from early in the movie. He's like, "We will meet again, but not yet." No, and he gets to go not see not his yet. wife and his kid, who he thought he would never see again. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty dope. It's like now we are free. <laughs> So that was cool that it's cool that he got that moment at the end of the movie to be like, hey, no, he went free. Do-do-do. So, yeah, it's a nice touch. But yeah. And I, fucking Maximus throwing that into his dying decrees as well. Yeah. Free my men. Yeah. Do so, this. Yeah, before, do that. Before he said return stuff to the city, he's like, free my men. <laughs> now like yo maximus uh, now what the king wanted to happen <laughs> do that too i'm dying <laughs> all right he's out yeah man he ain't uh, long as death for nothing this this movie is great i love this movie i think it deserves all of its accolation uh I, I knew somebody who used to go. I don't know if I, I just, <laughs> you know, I just threw that word together. Uh, it's a word. Yeah. I just, I, I, with all the whether, words whether I, I use, just created, with it all or the not. words I use, I cannot say it isn't. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I knew somebody who literally would go to bed for, to this movie every day of his life for like a 15 year stretch or something mm, like that. Damn. Like, uh, uh, it's, um, but, but it's, it's, a, it's a, it's just a very good movie with all the, all the little bits that you want in it. Um, and also very well acted and contains a pedigree of actors and director, uh, so although I will say like, you know, if I, I don't want to, I don't, if I, if I, if I can find something to not just blow this movie's dick all night, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that Ridley Scott's, uh, directing of the action sequences are just okay. Okay. I'm not going to say they're bad, Yeah, but there's nothing interesting going on. And, uh, I think even before. 2000 we saw more interesting ways to shoot a fight scene or an action sequence and then especially since 2000 we have now seen yeah so many interesting ways to shoot a fight scene that this is honestly just okay yeah it wasn't quite paint by numbers but it was kind of that like yeah. it's just like his two stylistic choices that he decided to do, Omari thought were green screen mistakes. <laughs> Those are like the two really stylistic moments that he has in this film. Um, mistakes is a strong word. I mean, more no, like not mistakes. Aging right. Over yeah. time, just like oh, that's a lot more obvious now than it would have been if I watched it in two thousand. No, yeah, it's it's the same with happens. like like Oliver Stone. All of a sudden, he'll do some cutaway 
that doesn't have the same universe physics like the exposure is really brought 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 up it's got like really high saturation really high contrast and like there's no it's to them it's explaining a million things but we don't know what those things are (laughs) i agree but yeah it was great so there you have it gladiator gladiator are you not entertained oh i was very entertained i'll tell you what i wasn't (laughs) vexed i was not vexed this vexes me. Vexes me. Well, maybe, so. maybe. Well, so uh, what are we watching next week, Bill? I, well, we're, we're, I mean, yeah. I, I we're, instead of trading back and forth, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and snag the next week as well, and just we're just gonna do a little. Uh, we're we're gonna do a very micro uh, Ridley Scott series. Oh. Uh, we've we've watched we've watched one of his later. I mean, later. Two thousand is now twenty three years ago. So they say. Uh, but <laughs> but we've watched we've watched one of his one of his later works, and let's watch one of his earlier things that really made him who he became, and that is Blade Runner. Blade Runner. We're gonna watch Blade Runner next week, awesome. so make sure you watch that. Like I said, if you made it this far, that's insane. First of all, and uh, get yourself a movie club. Find a friend. Find a family member. Find uh barista that is a cool dude and and say hey you want to be in a movie club i'm gonna come here once a week and slide you a piece of paper that's gonna have a movie on it you have to watch that movie and then when i come and get my coffee the next day i'm gonna be like hey did you like that movie or did you hate that movie (laughs) i like the idea i used to i knew a guy who used to be a barista or just work in a coffee shop you anyway. knew a bunch of guys that used to be a barista. Okay. So, good. I used the right term. Anyway, so there you have it. Blade Runner <laughs> next week. Shop. If you guys I didn't want realize to you were fishing. <laughs> it worked in a coffee, coffee shop. shop. I know baristas. Yeah, I do. I do a barista, too. Uh, yeah. So... If you want to see some of our other stuff on this channel, go ahead and check it out. You can also find me elsewhere on YouTube on the Whatever We Want podcast. We do episodes every week, every Wednesday. I do it with a good friend of mine, a good friend of the show, Super Jazz. Super Jazz. That's nature intended. Thank you very much, sir. Um... Yeah, we do that every week. We just talk about just that, whatever we want. I also have a Twitch. I did, I did it like the Cookie Crisp. <laughs> cookie Crisp. So <laughs> 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 Fantastic. Uh, but yes, I also have a Twitter and Twitch and Geotavi. That is G-I-O-T-A-V-I. Come on in. Stop on by. Uh, yeah. What's it in Instagram? That's a good question. (laughs) (laughs) Bill said what he's got to say. So adios to everybody.